everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is a timeless reading for all 12 signs. Now I am doing a release date of November, 2021, but again, it is timeless. If you have found your way here, you were meant to hear this message. Because I am recording this right before Halloween, that's why you see Halloween decorations behind me, but don't let that throw you. Okay. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. I can do an angelic message for you. And if you prep yourself and I'll guide you in that, uh, once you get your recording, uh, you can have an angelic encounter or I can tune into Akashic Records for you and reflect back whatever you need to know right now to help you in your process. Again, angelsouls444.com for that. And of course I have lots of content over at gumroad.com slash angel souls. And that is where you will find a whole library of Archangel meditation challenges. So get on in there, pick an Archangel, pick a couple of them and see who you would like to work with. Let's get into it with Aries. Hello Aries. Let's see what is going on for you at this time. And in the coming four weeks, you can treat this like it's a longer message, whatever works for you. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so you're real stuck in your ways. You think you know things and you said it's my way or no way. <laughs> All right, Aries. <laughs> Let's see. And I'm saying that because literally look at this mess. Now, I've been shuffling cards a long time, okay? Over a decade. <laughs> Over a decade. They're not usually that messy. All right. Yeah, watch any battles, trying to be right, yeah. You're burdening yourself with fighting. I wanna be right, I don't feel secure. I'm gonna boss everybody around. I'm gonna plow over everybody <laughs> with my chariot. Oh Lord, what are y'all doing? Okay, let's see. All right, listen, <laughs> don't engage in fighting, okay? Don't be doing power struggles, I don't know. Like you got a lot of energy, you want to like go plowing ahead. You can't do that. You're going to end up burning out. Now you do have the three of Gabriel here. here. We will read that for you. But these are all Gabriel cards. Look at all this. Gabriel, I've got this nasty look on my face. But what I mean is Gabriel is all about self-nurturing, um, creativity, conception, giving birth to new ideas, communication, writing. Okay. Yeah, somebody's not, somebody's not being kind with their words. Somebody's not being kind with their words. And it starts off with a battle here. So maybe as you're coming to this reading, there could be something that is going on and it is just the heaviest burden on you. And you're like, I, I don't even know what to do anymore. And there could be an aspect of, um, again, I'm going to plow ahead and I'm going to end this discussion. That's a power play. Okay, I'm going to run away from this. Well, now you're denying the other person whatever they need to say. You feel me? It's it's all that kind of stuff, um, but you need a new plan here. So we'll, we'll talk about that here in just a moment. I should mention I am recording this at the time when everybody gets home from work. I tried to do this before that happened, but I didn't make it. I didn't do it. Okay, so fine. So people are going to be slamming doors neighbors, dogs, they're taking the dogs out. It's a whole thing. It's going to smell like garlic in my apartment pretty soon. In my bathroom. The neighbor's kitchen isn't even on the other side of that wall. It's their bathroom and bedroom. So many questions. So we begin with seven of Gabriel. Stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence. Claim your personal power. Ah, sort of. <laughs> okay. No, this is, I think, what you intend to set out to do, but it doesn't work so well. Okay, uh, what ends up, this is like, okay, I'm telling you, some of you might get mouthy on the job and get fired. And if that should occur, march yourself right over and get some therapeutic help. Okay, go to a therapist. I'm not kidding. Go get evaluated. <laughs> See, like, do I have anger issues? Um, did I really think that I was too good for this job or whatever? You know how people are. Okay, fine. So 10 of Gabriel, <laughs> ask your angels, I'm sorry, ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. I just said, get a therapist, working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. Ish. Okay. So there's a scenario here where someone, you really think that you're doing the right thing by standing up for someone, but maybe it's more interference. 
Okay, so there can be progress going on here, but one of the major lessons that you're learning to do right now, changing your approach, there's a big message around that. Change your approach, like be more reasonable, not that you're... So he'd be like, you say I'm unreasonable. No, it's not that. It's just, it's very, I keep hearing my way or the highway. It's my way or the highway. And I want what I want and I want it now. And if you tell me no, I'm going to drop kick you, right? And that's not nice. <laughs> you can't, can't get away with that. No. The universe is going to come in and smack you. No, I'm just kidding. The chariot, Archangel Metatron. So here's your wisdom. Know what you're doing before you do it. Okay. So what I feel before I show you this is a hard stop. There's like, here's the approach I'm taking. I'm going to bulldoze over this situation. I'm going to end it. We keep saying that. And then uh, someone comes in and says, no, we're not doing this. Um, or you have that realization within you. Because we do have a seven here on this card. So that could be archangelic interference. <laughs> they don't actually interfere. Archangels and angels do not interfere with your free will. They don't. When I say that, I mean that very, you know, uh, facetiously. So... What I mean with that is they're giving you messages, maybe about what the other perspective is, maybe about another option, right? Something shifts here. There's a shift and it's coming in the next few weeks. You need to start with your perspective. And, and they're saying the rest will follow. The rest will follow. So change your perspective and the rest will follow. So this could be changing your perspective and realizing I've been too hard on someone. Or changing your perspective and saying, you know what, I shouldn't have behaved that way. Or, you know what, I only went after that because that's what I thought I should do. There's more about being authentic to yourself and not struggling with that. This dichotomous nature of I have to put one face out into the world, but this is who I am at home. You know, you'll have, you know, you'll have different phases for yourself and that's fine. But one of them is getting pretty, one face for you is getting pretty exhausting to have to uh, keep up. All right. So there is this movement, this moving away. Again, some of you, if you don't learn your lessons, this is not going to end well. Um, if for some of you, though, you're making that change. So this card says determination and self-control. <laughs> that is the thing. Self-control. Career advancement. Definitely a possibility if that's what you're looking for or feeling more fulfilled in how you spend your day to day. Acknowledgement of success by others. We want to be careful with that. Don't let our egos run away. But right there is the card. So we have Metatron involved. There's this word destiny. Metatron isn't about destiny necessarily. But Metatron can definitely come in and give you. A, he's, he's numbers. He's codes. He's sacred geometry. Akashic records. All of that. So if there is some lesson from like um another vibrating lifetime for you it's not linear okay a lot of people often speak of the akashic records like there's the past the present and the future we can look at it like that but just understand that's not it's not really how time <laughs> works outside of us right so it could be um a, another lifetime that's vibrating kind of close to this one where there could be some crossover with lessons so if you start going through something and you just have like, oh, this again, but you've never experienced that before, there you go. Intersecting timelines. They're kind of, you know, flowing over each other, uh, potentially. Metatron's going to come in and give you clarity around that. And Michael can help with that as well. All right. But approach things with wisdom. And when you're in that wisdom, I'm hearing, you will know to not push. You will know that pushing is only going to make things fall apart. Okay. Now you're evening this out, right? You're, you're getting everything all nice and balanced. And we have three of Gabriel. And it says prosperity arising from wise planning. There's that word wise. <laughs> wise planning. Not strategizing. Not manipulating. Not pushing. Not judging. Not being mouthy. You know, whatever you're doing. <laughs> <You know? laughs> it just feels like there was like a conflict. Okay. There was a conflict. Uh, and that could be internal conflict, by the way, too. I don't think I said that. That could definitely be internal conflict where you're like, do I stay? Do I go? Do I do this? Do I do that? All right. Uh, time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. Your ship is coming in, right? It's, it's that. So there is a need. You need to kind of get triggered. How do I want to say this? It's like you're flowing this way. 
and Metatron, if you want to work with Metatron, you can invite him in. He kind of goes, uh, sort of that way, but more this way. <laughs> right? So he'll give you messaging. And if you listen to that, you'll head off into this direction. And you might find that there are opportunities coming through. If it's, here's what's so funny. People will be like, no opportunity came for me. Well, maybe you're in your opportunity. And maybe you need to look at it differently. Okay. Maybe the opportunity, you hear about gratitude and all of that. Um, which is a wonderful thing, but you might realize, like, hey, I, I'm lucky that I'm here and I do enjoy this. And all I have to do is work out a little of this and this and it's good, right? Or have open communication and it should be good. It's that sort of thing. So we're going to leave it there for you and get on to the next sign. Hi there, Taurus. Let's see what is going on for you. I'm seeing somebody who's sitting on a park. Or it's not even a park bench. It's um, it's a bus bench. And they're just being patient, just sitting there, just kind of observing the world and just, just waiting. Like there's a measure of patience going on here. Uh, let's see. Let's see what that's all about. So we have seven of Ariel. You have invested wisely. Have patience. <laughs> have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. I feel like you know very much. Like I've already planted the seeds. I've taken care of it. Um, it'll happen when it happens. And unfortunately for some, that may have come at the end of burnout or complete overwhelm or something like that. But this feels like I feel confident I've got everything in place. Now, if you are listening to this and you are wondering like, well, I don't really feel like I have anything in place. I actually don't feel like I have anything in place. It's okay. It's okay. Remember, and listen for your sun, moon, rising, even your Venus sign if you want to. That might give a fuller picture. But somewhere in you, even if it's not at the forefront of your mind, somewhere in you, you know like, hey, I've... I've come pretty far. I have come pretty far. And the rest will happen in due time. Okay. Got ten of Michael and ending. And then this one wants to come out too. Change your life. Okay, let's go back to the ten of Michael. So this is taking the final bow on something. A situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. The show's over on that old way. It's definitely over on that old way. And it might be a little bittersweet, but I feel like you're ready. Again, I get that image of, of you sitting on that bus bench. Like, it'll get here when it gets here. I'm fine. It's a pretty day out. I'm in the fresh air. Like, you, it, it's very that. It's very accepting of this ending for some <laughs> others of you might go change that's not something i do forget it uh but you better because here you go we have change your life archangel shamuel so shamuel is known primarily for being the archangel of love but she's also known for helping you reach your fullest potential by activating your higher heart chakra okay so it's right or some people see it as within the heart chakra heart within the heart or you can see it as a little bit above uh, and this says a sudden revelation that offers freedom. I'm telling you, there's a sense here where like, you know, the truth, you have all the information or more, more information is coming, but eventually when, when action is starting to take place by then you will have had all the information and you're really at ease with this. I really do feel that break free of procrastination, embrace the opportunities that change brings. Um, Every time I see this, I think of New York City because there's that building there. This has this feeling of like uh, an opportunity coming through. And maybe it's something you wanted for a very long time. And then when it's here, it's sort of like, okay, well, I've hyped it up so much in my mind. I got right past the hype and then I just kind of gave up. And then I felt, well, maybe it's coming back around. Let's see. I'm just in a very neutral place <laughs> about this, right? I mean, it has that kind of feeling. I'm just going to stay very neutral and balanced and um again that sudden revelation you okay again you've planted the garden the ideas are there 
and you suddenly realize, okay, well, I need to make room. Okay. And that, okay. So for example, let's say, let's say you're an entrepreneur and you're working on, I don't know, pick something. <laughs> you're just working on, working on, working on it, but you've always wanted to do this other thing. And that is feeling like what's next you don't have to phase this old thing out like in that situation. You don't have to phase it out entirely, but maybe you start spending less time on this and you start prioritizing that. Or if you're like me, you have from about mm, 7 a.m. to about 3 or 4 p.m. before you're like, I just want to watch Mad Men, you know, or whatever. <laughs> John Hamm, I have a thing, but he don't call. But <laughs> Him and John Stamos, they don't call. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> it has that kind of feel where it's like, uh, I'm going to prioritize that stuff in the beginning of the day because I know it's when I have my best energy, right? So, and everything else can kind of fall after that. Let's see what this is. New beginnings. How exciting in Western astrology, and you can see this from either way, really what I'm doing here is um, just dividing up in groups of people. So whatever one you are pulled to, that's your message. As a matter of fact, I should probably do that at the end to add that to the beginning to tell people. <laughs> um, new Beginnings, Archangel Jeremiah, starting a new life, finding your purpose of forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So this could be... Hmm... Oh, no. Or, or, oh, yay. I don't, maybe both. I don't know. <laughs> this Ten of Michael, this has a feeling that something kind of, because this is like resurrection, right? It's resurrecting. Something you thought was over, like nothing is going to come of that. No. Here's a new approach, but you got to clean up some energy around this first. Yeah, because you kind of have to. I mean, pardon me for being so crass, but you kind of have to die before you can resurrect, right? <laughs> that's what happens. Um, and that's what's going on here. Like something else comes, or again, it feels like something that you thought was done resurrects. And it is life changing. It is life. What in the world? Let's get another card for you. Let's just see what else. Ace of Raphael. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh God, a positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. Yeah, yeah. So you, you're you feeling really good about the rewards coming in. So this is a helpful person or it could be new love if you're single and you're looking. It's just emotional fulfillment. I know this is being hyperbolic, but maybe this is like a dream come true telling you like there's something here but look at what it, I'm like pounding on this prayer board sorry <laughs> it's like a drum um you have to be willing to make the change though so let's say and always be discerning always always let's say somebody from your past does come back and they were like sketchy and you're like mm. but then you start realizing well that's just how I had it cemented in my mind Oh, I didn't realize this other piece. Now, again, this is not saying that somebody can come back and just explain away all of their bad behavior. And you're like, okay, I forgive you. That's great. No, 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 no. This is, I didn't have the full picture. I didn't have the whole story. Um, and now I do. Now I, now I can make an informed decision. For some of you, this, the Ace of Raphael is just, feeling wonderful it's just like oh god this is just such a relief and this is so amazing and I never thought you know da, 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 and all these things but this might be you having to choose between a couple of opportunities or find a way to work them both out okay um I'll give an example I'm a youtuber let's say somebody wanted to collab with me and I said, oh, that'd be great. Let's collab and do that whole thing. And then over here, here's somebody who wants me. This actually happened at one time. <laughs> I was supposed to do a collaboration with somebody. I, mean, I, I thought I was pulling this out of thin air. No, it was trapped in my brain somewhere. And then I had, I was invited to be a speaker uh, at a dinner in, for this corporation in Denver doing a spiritual talk. I was shocked that they asked me. It was weird. I was like, really? Like, <laughs> who's the audience? They're okay with this? Are you sure? But I did it. And I had to, and they were very close to each other. Like literally, if I remember correctly, I think I had to go off and do that talk and then uh, make sure I was back to be on to do the collaboration with somebody else. And 
Um, I felt so hot and in demand. It was great. But I think that this is that, <laughs> it's that kind of thing, but with support. So it doesn't have to be romantic love. That Ace of Raphael is something very healing too. It's like emotionally healing. It's like, I thought I was alone. I thought my dreams are gone. Like we're, we're being dramatic now, right? But my dreams are gone and nobody loves me. Oh, you know, the whole thing. And then you're like, no, that ain't true. <laughs> Your dreams are here. They just needed to be tweaked a little bit and you have a lot of support. This is very well aspected for somebody who, um, if you're into acting, you got to find an agent, for example, or I don't know, like any kind of support. You can find an accountant <laughs> at this time, somebody you can really trust. Again, be discerning, make sure you do your research, be practical about it too. But don't, don't be too heartbroken if something does kind of crack and end. It definitely needs to. All right, something good is coming. So we're going to leave it there for you guys and get on to the next sign. Hello, Gemini. Let's see what's going on for you. I feel like my hair's sticking out. It always is, but you know, there's only so much I can do. All right, let's see what is happening for you. Seven of Gabriel. I believe Aries got this as well. We'll talk about that. Knight of Michael. Pay attention to the archangel names as they come up. The lovers. <laughs> Partnership. Very lovely. Well, I think that's your card, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not really a tarot person. It's just it's a deck I have. I don't know. Uh, two of Gabriel. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning. I want to start feeling out here too. Any energies and messages, obviously angelic messages that are coming through. So seven of Gabriel. Stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence. Claim your personal power. Do so gently though. If you're just trying to debate everybody, you're not going to get anywhere, especially in the way the energies have been swirling around. Okay. I mean, people are, yeah, see the night of Michael, it kind of goes with this it says time to move quickly, choose logic over emotion, sudden changes. So something is presenting itself to you that you have to handle, but I'm not like, I don't feel like, ugh dread going through me or scared or anything like that it's just very much be careful with your words be very careful with your words but you are kind of cutting through the nonsense so something is amiss here it's a highly charged situation gabriel's about emotions <laughs> the sacral chakra where we carry um you know creativity and maybe you're wanting to like plow ahead on something but yeah maybe someone is standing in the way maybe someone is standing in the way or maybe there has been some sort of holdup in progress in any area of your life. And you find out what's going on. You're like, wait a minute. That person's been talking in your ear. <laughs> right? I'm not saying get involved in gossip. But there is something like, I'm going to find the truth. Now, this can be a little bit reckless. All right? Just a little bit reckless. But Michael and Gabriel, both really incredible archangels to show up here for you so michael's about being protected having that clarity speaking truth and that's why i say be careful don't get into like a debate you can find your truth search within your emotional body that's what gabriel i think is showing up here for getting in touch with that um it's bringing light onto a difficult emotional situation this is saying be logistical but this is emotion so this is starting like, I'm getting real ticked off. Okay, you know what? I got to bring it up into my brain because <laughs> I'm going to lose control if I keep here. So let's keep going here. We have the lovers. And this is Archangel Raphael. Make choices from your heart. Deeply emotional commitments, the power of love. Now, this obviously can mean like, oh man, because I just heard outburst. There's an outburst. Some people might interpret this like this is like a passionate kind of love or someone blurting out like, I love you. Don't you realize? And it's raining. It's literally like storming in this card. <laughs> okay. It's storming in this card. And it's like, like one of those movies, right? Um, but what this could also be is um, coming to a truth for yourself. Say it again. Sorry, I'm getting a couple of conflicting, not conflicting, but a couple of different messages around this. Take me to one. You're realizing what you have to bring your heart into. 
So this could be a confession of love. <laughs> it could definitely be that. Um, or you just figure out what you want. This is just good supportive partnership as well. Okay. The secondary weird <laughs> message that was coming up was something about you coming to terms with dual aspects within yourself. So the masculine and feminine expressions, we all have both within us and they will be on a gradient, right? Um, and at different times of our life, a different energy will be called up. So this is part of that message as well. But there's definitely a healing here. This is Archangel Raphael. So there's something about a situation that then, again, I think it was Aries. I got this. It didn't start out nice. It's sort of like we're having words and then it's like, oh, now we're fine. The, the thing here though, be careful of the tumultuous love partner. Okay. That's not stable. That's not stable and it's not safe. We are realizing how not safe that is and how often we get pulled in by what we have classically called a great love story, but it's no love story at all. So it's really very much coming to terms with your duality consciousness. Now, this also, if we're going with that message of this is like dual aspects of you that you're kind of fighting head and heart kind of thing. Let me see what that might be for you. Let me tune into this. There's a want to emotionally break free and for everybody it'll be different so this could be breaking free from it doesn't have to be like an argument it doesn't have to be awful I was immediately getting um the image of somebody who's in their early 20s and they still live with their parents and their parents want them to <laughs> some of you might be like no nah, that's not my story I'm trying to get rid of my 22 year old whatever but like in this example I'm seeing somebody who um the parents they want their child still with them they're having a hard time letting go but as long as that child lives there they can't really grow up and they can't really be themselves and so they're saying okay I'm gonna come speak my truth I think it's time that I move out. Um, I think it's time that I get on with my life. Maybe you do have a love partner that, you know, you're like this isn't going to work if I, I can't keep bringing my, <laughs> my love partner to my parents' house, right? Or whatever. <laughs> um, and, and that's a difficult conversation and it could be very emotional, but it doesn't have to be a bad thing. Maybe the parents say, okay, we understand. We love you. You know, okay. Mm, you know, we're not ready for you to leave, but okay. You know, so it doesn't have to be this like super negative thing. But again, a word of caution here. Be balanced. Stay grounded. All right. Then we have two of Gabriel. Make bold and ambitious choices. You can get there. First, you got to do this other stuff. Okay. Uh, great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. So, <laughs> yeah. Here. I was, I was given that other message, but look at that. The, you know, soulmates. These are... Just be careful. Just be careful because we get so swept up in this ridiculous story and, and you might find yourself with a wolf in sheep's clothing, okay? I do, that's a societal thing. That's not just for you. That is just the narrative that we pump out there. We want this um, crazy love story where it's just desperate and, oh, don't leave me and all this nonsense. And then we get down a bad path. That is a message for some of you out there. Otherwise, this is a strengthening of a support system. Yes, it could absolutely, it's the lovers. I mean, so it could be a love partner. If you're single, this is good. <laughs> this is good. And this might finally be, um, I, let's not call them the one. There's a desperation that goes into that. Okay. We can't put desperation behind the energy of bringing a love partner in. And we definitely don't want to get into this um, feeling of I'm incomplete unless I'm in a relationship. If you're still in that, you've not learned all your lessons. Okay. Um, if you're saying, I want a love partner, I want a love partner, I want a love partner, blah, 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 why? I just do. Not good enough and it's desperate. Okay. So you're going to get a love partner, but they're shady. They're not respectful. Who knows? I mean, it could go really far. So be careful with that. Okay. Passion is good, but <laughs> let it be like a grounded passion. Okay. So we're going to leave it there for you guys and get on to the next sign. Hello, Cancer. Let's see what's going on for you. All right. Something emotional. Hmm. 
We'll get the cards. <laughs> it's like an emotional scattering. It's, uh, we'll see. It's not bad. It's just kind of weird. Uh, so we have Queen of Ariel. And it says, mature, practical, generous, happy. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. For some of you, I think this is you standing tall, standing on your own. But I felt that emotional scramble. So this feels like it's just a setup. Okay, so like you're doing great. Mind my business. And then what? What happens? <laughs> Tell us what goes on. Oh, God. Okay, so it's not bad. It's just, you know, if you were looking to just kick back relax with some tea in front of the fireplace and watch netflix it's, you know, it's not happening uh change your life archangel shamuel so the shamuel is all about reaching your potential so up until now you've been doing beautifully okay living your soul's contract doing what you got to do being human making mistakes that's what we're designed for you're doing all of that um but it feels as if you came to the end of the road the end of the road and you just kind of like maybe like looking around like what now and then something <laughs> i'm actually getting a, a visual of like a road that's blocked off and there's no road beyond it it's just darkness and then a vehicle pulls up which sounds like the beginning of a horror movie okay but well, let's not go there but it is coming up and uh, it's got some headlights on <laughs> I don't know why these things pop up in my head and you turn around and you're like oh there's my ride again I wouldn't get in that car it's freaky but um you know <laughs> as whatever just popped up in my head as a way to explain this that's what I got to give you so it's like somebody comes along um it might just be words somebody comes along and they just have words but it's a real shake up and you know what it feels like I haven't pulled the other cards like here you are I'm living Look how cute I am in my dress, my big wig. <laughs> like, I, I got life rolling. And then this comes in and is like, hey, uh, company is changing. Hey, uh, I have to move to another country. And we're married, so you have to move too. Uh, hey, uh, someone loves you. And you're like, ugh, that one? No, they're better than you think. Yeah, but... Mm. From the past, like... Mm, but no, it's good. <laughs> right? So there's this push-pull... I don't know. I, I wish I could. I know this is not very interesting to watch this, but just hang with me here a second while I get this. You thought you had things set. You thought it was all good. And it's like, nope, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> so you're going to be called up to duty. Uh, and it's something that you have to do for yourself. So this is like, well, it's a lot of acceptance. I, I feel like I've been good up until now i'm doing doing fine and then there's some information it's good information you don't maybe some of you won't think it's good information but it's excellent information okay so again it could be like um company got sold to someone else and you're like uh, uh my job hello and they're like hey you're a very promising talented person we're gonna promote you it could be like that okay fine ace of michael truth information Oh, no. Okay. No, it's great. <laughs> but a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. See, that's that. That's this. So if something comes up and it seems a little alarming, don't be alarmed. Don't be alarmed. No, it's not bad. Uh, it may not look the way you want, but it's not bad. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. Oh, no. <laughs> I have a situation like this and the person's a cancer. <laughs> oh, God. Whatever. I don't know. If it hasn't happened by now, it's not going to happen. It's fine. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say that because then this card comes up. But this is definitely a hard, it's not a hard truth. It's sort of, how do I want to put this? I'm sorry. Like there's, every time I'm about to say it, something else is coming up around it. Let me just, guys, zero it out here and give it to me. Please. Major shakeup. <laughs> it's a major shakeup. I'm telling you, it's like. Someone is seeing you be successful and it's sort of like, how did you do, how could you do that without me? Now, I don't know what that means for some of you out there, but it's sort of like, okay, fine. You went off and you proved you could do it, that you could be independent. Now here's my truth. You know, I gave you space when you wanted space. Uh, for some of you, this could be an ex that you didn't realize still loved you 
okay? Again, don't go back into toxic situations. That's not what we're encouraging. Don't give into this. This this is one of the big problems I have with like, like traditional tarot readings um, is that it gets too into the, what do I want to say, kind of contrived little love story. It's not that. It's not going to be that for everybody, but definitely someone's got something to say. Someone's got something to say, and here it comes. Now, for others of you, this might, this feels like an offer too. So this could be like, I'm an entrepreneur. I work for myself. I'm doing great. And somebody says, hey, you know, we've got some ideas here. Do you want to help us? Do you want to work for us? Do you want to do this? And here's this pivoting or pivotal kind of moment where it's like, I never saw myself doing that, but okay. This could also be writing. I don't know. Michael isn't typically, it's usually, uh, Michael would be more editing. (laughs) He's not, He's not the writing angel. He'd be editing. He'd be more like, let's be very focused and, um, you know, look, look at all the details, but go ahead. It's an opportunity and it has you standing strong and it's, it's, again, I got to watch it because it's a general reading. It's trustworthy, but oh, wish you your discernment. Okay. That's about all I can say about that. Okay, let's get you another card. (laughs) What wild things are going on now? New beginnings. Oh my gosh. It's Archangel Jeremiah. I'm excited for you. I it's it's gonna blow your mind. It's gonna blow your mind. Something. Now, if you get a few weeks out from now and you're like, oh listen, that stupid reading and it didn't didn't turn out like that what the heck remember you have your sun moon rising you can watch for your venus sign i did have somebody ask if this is more from a western astrology or a vedic astrology type thing because your sign could be different really i'm an angel medium okay i'm not really an astrologer i'm not even really a tarot reader i I use cards i use oracle cards but it's more about the messages coming in from the angels so you can approach it any way you want you will be guided to whatever message you need they will make sure of it you can even ask them hey angels thank you so much for guiding me to the right message for me right now thank you and so it is okay so this is new beginnings archangel jeremiah Starting a new life. That is a big statement. Finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. (laughs) Oh my God. I'm sorry, guys. I have a situation myself in my own life. It's like, it's like over a decade old. I don't know. (laughs) It's it's really old, but this is plain. I have a Cancer moon in Western and actually in Vedic. I think it's only by certain degrees. Anyway, um, so this is New Beginnings. This is a review. This is having that talk. So do you have a situation from the past that needs to be transformed? Do you have all the information? I'm telling you, look at, look at this lineup. So here's some, here's somebody who's super, you know, she, she, she's got it going on. She doesn't need anybody. <laughs> right? It's fine. And then someone, I almost imagine like a queen who's on her throne and then somebody comes charging through the door and she's like, excuse me, what the what? And this person says, I got something to say. And she's like, well, what? I've never read cards like this before in my life. She's like, what's your problem? And I don't know what this person's going to say, but there you go. And it kicks off a brand new beginning. And it's an emotional release as well. And it could also be just bringing, because it said bring peace to the past. So a lot of times we will obviously be swirling in resentment or the mystery of something. And maybe it takes up a lot of our time. And then you get a very clear cut like, oh, that's what that was. Bye. Now I can get on to something else. Right? <laughs> or, oh, that's what was, wait, what? That was, ah, oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry. You want to be friends? You know, it could be a lot of different things, but we'll be here all day. So we're going to leave it there for you guys. Good luck. And we'll get on to the next sign. Hi there, Leo. Let's see what is going on for you. As I was telling everybody, except maybe a Taurus, I didn't tell You can watch your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, and it doesn't really matter whether you're coming from a Vedic perspective or the Western astrology perspective, because all I'm using that for is to get smaller groups of people to tune into their energy. I'm an angel medium, okay? So whatever message you feel drawn to, there you go. That's the one that you need, okay? So I think most people, in my audience at least, would be taking this from like the Western astrology standpoint but feel free to let yourself just be guided all right we've got knight of michael 
And then we have Queen of Gabriel. Interesting. Okay. Someone's not messing with you. <laughs> That's what I feel like. It feels like I I have, who was I just did cancer? They had a similar message, kind of a little bit flipped, but it was like, I have something to say. And this, but this is, to me, the knight, the knight is not a king, right? He's a little messy with what he does. <laughs> so how he puts things. All right. Eight of Raphael. Ooh, there's something better waiting for you. Hold on. And strength. You have something you want to say. But you're going to be really bad at it. Okay. You're going to maybe not put it the right way. <laughs> Okay, uh, clumsy. They're using the word clumsy. They're saying it's clumsy communication. It's sort of like barreling in. I was that. I didn't say that here. No, that was cancer. Where it was like there was another queen there. It was like the feeling is like you just barrel into the room, and there's a message coming through. All right. So this is strong, committed, intellectual, diligent. Time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion. Sudden changes. This is a panic. This is a panic and it has something to do with this queen. Okay. It has something to do with this queen. Now it's queen of Gabriel, passionate, charming, brilliant, independent. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. Now that's a very big message for you as well, but this could also represent a person in your world who embodies those traits. Now, uh, are you afraid of losing them? Are you afraid... Too much time has passed. This person is at like such a high rank that you can't possibly come and talk to them. Or um, this is panic. This is like, oh no, this person is doing too well without me. No. Okay. <laughs> it's like this person is doing too well without me. I have to find my place. There's this message here of I got to find my place. Where do I belong? Who do I belong with? Okay, so let's just get the rest of the card reading because that won't resonate with everybody. Just hang, hang tight here a second. So if Eight of Raphael, there is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. So there could be something here where you do maybe come at this person or maybe you are this person and someone's coming at you and you're saying, I'm done. Okay, I am done. This is what has not worked for me in the past. You have this very, maybe volatile, like there's something very like ready to go to war. <laughs> I mean, that's what knights do. They go to war. Um, and you're saying, I, I just don't want to go down this road again. Um, or that is a big fear of yours because this feels like someone walks away. But they're only walking away because you're not tuned in. You're not tuned in. Or maybe, again, that could for some of you, it's like somebody coming at you and you say, mm, this isn't good for me. You know, this is that kind of thing. You know, do you have a narcissist who's walking into your world and you're like, no, I've been down that road before. Okay, I finally got out of a narcissistic relationship. I'm not looking to do that again. Or do you, God, there's so many different, forgive me, there, there's so many different messages coming through because now there's this dynamic here of I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough for this this situation all right so then we have strength archangel ariel so this is asking you to be grounded and take a different viewpoint here a little bit strength and grace through kindness self-confidence forgiveness so there's something rough this is complicated <laughs> this is very complicated so you need to be strong you need to be strong here and maybe being strong is looking at how you're wired you know maybe it's looking at why did I say that now don't beat yourself up it's not that it's not that but if somebody says okay you can't just come at me like that I mean you might it's it's going to take a lot of strength to do some self-realization and go oh you know what and have some self-awareness you know what okay you know I, I came on a little strong or maybe I shouldn't have done that or maybe whatever um they're uh I'm telling you, there's a weird energy here because <laughs> there's all these situations going on in your world. And these can be, you can replace this. It doesn't have to be a person. It feels like a person to me, but it could be a situation 
as well where you're like, I want that raise. And they're saying, well, maybe next month or maybe next year. We'll do a, you know, an evaluation next year. And you may be moving on from a job. And that's not easy. And this might be something that you're very used to. And so it feels like you're completely going into uncharted territory to make this happen. So it does come down to make sure you know what you want to say. Everybody's getting these communication messages and make sure you are approaching people with love, kindness, respect, and grace. If you do that, because this, this has a little bit of a self-centered feel about it. And I don't think you mean to be self-centered. I think it's just like, it has the blah, kind of, eh. And this person's like, what? <laughs> what are you even talking about? And in, in that scenario, then you're kind of walking away in shame. That's not typically what this card would mean, but it has this kind of like, well, I guess you're not going to be that missing cup right? I guess, or whatever. Okay. So there's a lot of, Ooh, it's, it's a kaleidoscope for you guys. I do apologize if it's not terribly clear, but you've got a situation. You got to be careful with how you approach it. There is walking away. Now, if some of you have a scenario, oof, if you have, well, son, don't do this. Don't ever mess with your sexual energy. Don't, I said, don't, okay, go tell your friends, put on a t-shirt, tell your friends, don't mess with sexual energy. That's your life force. That's your creativity. That is your emotional body. Why are you messing with it? Or maybe not. You're like, what are you talking about? I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> don't yell at me. <laughs> but never mess with that. But this is, you know, that's why I always tell people, don't have overlapping relationships. Because where do you fit into that? You didn't give yourself a chance to find you again. Who are you now once you've had that experience with another person, right? You may be the person that some, like, maybe you are the missing cup. Maybe you are the missing emotional fulfillment or the missing um, healing. But there is a childishness going on here. And that could just be from like, oh my gosh, I just don't know what else to say. And, um, you know. You're, you're the one I've been looking for. You're the, I've gone on a long journey to find you and, right. And all of this, and you may be sitting here going, yeah, we'll see about that. I don't know. You came in here a little sassy. We'll have to see, right. Or vice versa. Maybe you come at somebody a little sassy and you know, they're like, excuse me. All right. So I, I, I'm fearful. I'm going to confuse you more. Hopefully I made some sense. Again, check out your other signs and we'll leave it there for you and get on to the next sign. Hi there, Virgo. Let's see what is going on for you. I'm hearing take a chance, take a leap. Take a chance, take a leap. And I just realized I bumped my camera and moved it all the way over. <laughs> oh, well, we'll get through it. You can still see me, right? You can still see the cards and everything. Two of Ariel, it's important to have balance, working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun. I would add in avoidance. <laughs> you're just avoiding and you're just uh, using work or projects or the PTA or meditation group or, you know, you just fill your days and it's all avoidance. Now, what that's doing is it's knocking you out of balance. So six of Ariel, material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways, acts of kindness giving or receiving with a grateful heart. So somebody wants to come in, come on in here and help you out and maybe help lighten the load a little bit because maybe why you're, you know, again, there's this distraction and all of that, but somebody comes in and says, hey, you know, if you're working two jobs because times are tough, I have another opportunity for you. It pays triple what you're making at both jobs or something. I don't know. It could be something like that. But this is definitely, um, again, finding balance. If you see that card, she has uh, uh, two bushels of, I don't know if you're going to see that, but there are two bushels that are kind of evened out on either side of her. So again, an area, of course, is being grounded, detoxifying, getting set with what you really need. Okay, so there's a message here that you've been convincing yourself that you need things that you don't. Okay, um, I need this much time with my love partner. 
well, maybe you need more time on your own, <laughs> right? Um, I need this many, you know, dollars. I need, I need these kinds of opportunities. I need this to fulfill me. There's some realization coming along where it's like the universe comes in and wipes away some of the worry for you. It is coming in and saying, oh, well, you keep saying this, this, and this. This is the energy you're putting out there. So here you go. Here's that. Now what are you going to do? So there is a sense of emotional avoidance here. Um, yeah. Ten of Michael. Something has come to an end. Something is hurtful. Something has been... It, it, it gives you freedom, as it says here. A situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you hmm let me get another card the wheel what so you know this this feels like you know so finally you get some payoff around something material okay that's very much what this is indicating But there's some, I'm really shocked that a Gabriel card didn't come up because there's like an emotional situation here that has come to an end and it is giving you freedom. And now this is the wheel, okay? We have Archangel Jeremiah, new beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. Yeah. So you don't, it, it has for some of you this sense of work smarter, not harder. Um, you're lightening your load. You're putting something to rest and now you have this great, opening and now, well you know what it feels like I don't want to say this maybe you've been trying very hard to prove yourself and now you're like I'm letting that go I'm gonna let things flow and now that you've been working against yourself okay by putting so much emphasis behind things or not controlling I don't want to it's not controlling but you've been on top of things right you want to make sure nothing falls through the cracks and there's nothing wrong with that usually except it's really taking a toll on you <laughs> How the heck are you supposed to keep on like this? Okay. Um, this also feels like a push-pull around bosses or people who maybe aren't technically your bosses, but they have more power than you. So you can apply that to any situation. Um, and it's been a balancing act to please them and please yourself. Or you have... Two people who are pulling, you know, they, they want you to do this and this one wants you to do that. And you're like, ugh. And finally, like, I'm done. I'm just done. So whatever it is, you have this time coming up. We're changing direction for sure. Um, it's very fortunate, but something has to come to an end first. This might very well be uh, setting a boundary and saying, okay, I appreciate that y'all sign my paycheck. <laughs> But y'all nuts, okay? And I can't be doing the job of two people, all right? And and be your sun, moon, and star. Some of you, this is for a toxic relationship. Or I mean, not toxic. I don't feel like it's toxic. It feels like it's just needy, okay? There's a neediness around it. So set that boundary. Do it lovingly. There's going to be lots of prosperity coming in. Your needs will be met. And there's something new coming in. This is a whole new way of being. Yeah, it says new beginnings, end of delays. So this might be a time where you finally get some lovely payoff. Right? Uh, maybe you've been working a long time uh, or been in a relationship where you're not appreciated. Or maybe, again, in a job you weren't getting paid what you were due. And now that's coming through for you. Um, but it's not going to be without a little, a little test. You know, somebody might come in and say, okay, I'm going to put one more thing on your plate I'm thinking of an example I had a boss and believe it or not I used to work for Estee Lauder like the headquarters I miss getting he uh, Estee Lauder stuff and like free skincare <laughs> things like or discounted skincare but I remember this boss she I think really thought I was 10 people I really I was her executive assistant and she was a high level executive and uh I remember one day she oh god she had like I, I can't even begin to tell you how many requests and it was unreasonable. But I was staying on top of it. And I was taking care of one thing after another one thing. After, and she comes in and she laid another 20 things on me. And wanted them done in an unreasonable amount of time. And I'm going to tell you very specifically what happened. 
she wanted to do some celebration. So she wanted me to, um, I think the place is called Sherry Lehman. She wanted me to order champagne from Sherry Lehman. It was right there in Midtown. Well, they didn't deliver it. I don't know if there was a mix up in communication, but they didn't deliver it. And right around the time I'm noticing they're not delivering this champagne, I got word that there was a meeting that was to be had that she was all prepped for with like this whole PowerPoint presentation and everything. And they were changing the topic of the meeting. So while she was off doing something else, I'm putting out this fire, <laughs> pulling numbers, pulling reports, putting a whole new PowerPoint presentation together for her. She would have to do the final edits on it because she's the expert. I, I just grabbed the raw information for her. And then when she came back, we worked on it. And then she had the audacity to sit there and say, where's the champagne? I said, they didn't deliver it like I thought they were going to. And I was working on this. I didn't get a chance to go pick some up. And she threw a fit. I just saved her behind. And she threw a fit. It's that kind of feeling here where you're like, you know what? <laughs> Let me tell you something, right? Um, but, you know, do so lovingly. And I told her, I said, well, I could have let you... Uh, sink in that meeting or I could have gotten the champagne I chose to make sure you didn't look bad in your meeting yeah so anyway you're you're coming to some realization see events like that can spark this like why am I taking this kind of understanding uh and you move on to something else now some of you might say well I'm not leaving my job I've been here for decades I'm not going nowhere that's fine but maybe you're taking a very very different approach one where you get more respect Okay, so we're going to leave it there for you guys and get on to the next sign. Hello, Libra. Let's see what is going on for you. I'm recording at the time of night where everybody's out walking their dogs. And they do tend to let their dogs just bark. <laughs> so and you probably won't hear it anyway, or hopefully not. And also, please make sure that you watch your sun, moon, and rising signs or even your Venus sign. It doesn't really matter if you're looking towards a like Vedic approach or a Western approach. It's really whatever reading you're drawn to. These are more angelic messages than anything. I just use that as um, a way to kind of organize the readings. All right, so we have three of Raphael, so that's a celebration. That's something lovely coming in, something to be happy about. What's this one? Nine of Gabriel. Stay determined to move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Environmental activism. Okay. Strength, that keeps coming out for people, and the wheel keeps coming out for people as well. So, let's just read them, okay? <laughs> Three of Raphael. Reasons to celebrate a community of friends. Happy announcements. That's the big one for you guys. Happy announcements regarding relationships or children. So, there's something really, really wonderful coming in. And then, as it, this one says, uh, stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility uh, environmental activism. So, this is just kind of the waiting it's, it's like something to celebrate. This is news of something coming, but maybe it hasn't come to full fruition. Or there's going to be an effort to get it to come on through. <laughs> okay? It's a little hoop jumping going on here. And I think that's where the strength comes from. But you get good news. That's, that's something lovely. So something's coming up. Now, of course, I think for most of us humans, we would think of the example of like, oh, I got the promotion. Now I got to do the work. <laughs> right? Or, Oh, yay, I got this relationship, but it's not sunshine or rainbows, okay? Like, we can't figure out which restaurant we want to go to because neither one of us can make a decision with, like, the worst pair ever um, <laughs> or whatever, right? So it has that kind of feel. But keep working at it. This is definitely don't give up. Don't give up. There will be challenges around this, uh, but it's something wonderful that comes in, but then you have to learn how to do it, right? Or you're out of your comfort zone. That's what it is. Uh, you're out of your comfort zone, but you've done all the work to do well. You've done all the work to know how to do it. There might just need to be some refresh. This almost, I almost feel like this is the example of someone who is used to working at home and you have been doing that. You get kind of spoiled and then you go back into the office and you're like, oh yeah, office politics. I remember how I hate this. Like, Ugh. But it's wonderful because you maybe got a new opportunity, but now you got to work with this new group of people and you don't know them. Maybe that's not comfortable. All these kinds of things. Some of you, 
education is coming up. Now, hang with me because a lot of people are like, I'm done with school. I hate it when people talk about, oh, you're going to go get more education. I'm like, all I've done is spent half my life in school. I'm not, <laughs> not going back. But that doesn't have to mean you're going to university or anything like that. It can, it can be, you know, some sort of course you're taking online. But there is up, yeah, like up-leveling your skills. Okay, so you're getting either shoved out of the nest for some of you. Or you're getting shoved out of your comfort zone. Definitely. So this is something that's like, oh my gosh. I was given the example in one of the other sign videos where I was invited to come be a speaker for this corporation um, at this dinner. It was up in Denver. And it was like, oh, I'm so honored. Well, that's lovely that you trust me to come and speak to your people. But then it was, and I had all the skills to talk about the topics that he wanted me to talk about, but I was a little, it was a little tough getting ready for it because I was like, no, who are these people? <laughs> Who's the audience? I think I have an idea who they are, but are they receptive to this kind of information? And I really, oh, and then I had to, and then I had to do the thing. I had to stand up in front of people. I talked to a camera, but that's very different than being live, okay? <laughs> so it's Archangel Ariel, strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. So that's definitely factoring in here. Um, this might be like an offer coming from somebody that maybe you didn't have the best past with. Or some... I just heard collusion. Oh, God. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, no. Um... Oh, okay. So there might, anyway, <laughs> let me go back to the first example with the Denver talk. I'd have a lot of strength to stand in front of those people. That's what I was, I don't think I finished saying that. Um, you know what it feels like? And forgive me, this is very specific, but it feels like someone goes into a situation. Someone may say, Hey, I want you to head up the bake sale. And you're like, Oh my God, I've dreamed <laughs> of being in charge of a bake sale. It's dream come true yes I love it and then you go in there and you realize that um I don't know maybe one of the school administrators is going through and putting their finger in all the brownies and you're like I gotta call this out I'm in charge oh my god <laughs> dumbest example ever but hang with me it takes some strength <laughs> to have to go oh no I have to come in here and clean this up or oh no I have to come in here and be the whistleblower oh no I have to kind of move away from this or I have to make sure that, you know, it doesn't have to be that dramatic. It could be systems in place to make sure everything is on the up and up. Okay. Uh, so, but now that's your responsibility. And maybe information and facts are not as easy to come by as you thought. So this is a wonderful thing, but then the work kicks in. But don't worry about it because you're going to get through it. It's the wheel, Archangel Jeremiah. New beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. So you'll adjust. And that's really what this is talking about. Don't get thrown by initial worry or initial, how do I do this? Nobody ever knows what they're doing until they figure it out. <laughs> right? I know. Nobody ever knows what they're doing until they figure it out. So, you know, I didn't know how to run a camera. I didn't know how to do editing, uh, editing videos. I didn't even think I'd be very comfortable talking into a camera. I knew how to do this. I mean, I've been doing this for a while, but how do I take that to social media? Um, I don't think I've even exactly mastered it because I focus more on <laughs> the reading part of it, but it does have that kind of feel about it, okay? So this is definitely something incredibly fortunate. Sorry, I just, I thought I saw the moon rising, but no, it's not coming up yet. The sun is setting. All right, so this is good fortune though. I do want to say that, like your good fortune is definitely coming in. And don't try not to resist the change and try not to resist a new, it says here a new direction, right? A change in direction that offers happiness. So it could be something unexpected, most certainly. Um, it could be something, you know what? I'm sorry, I'm stuck on the business end of things. I mean, it's not very relationship heavy. It's not health heavy necessarily. It feels like, Hey, wouldn't it be so cool if the three of us got together? We're all besties. Let's start a business. And then you get in and you're like, oh, you're annoying. Oh, you ordered a bunch of stuff and didn't check with me. Oh, you hired someone and you didn't check with me. And you're like, I am biting my tongue. I don't want to, you know. And then 
you work it out. You will work it out. Now, that just pay attention to the underlying energy. I'm giving examples to explain the kinds of energies that are coming through. But in the coming weeks, you might find that something lifts you up and then you get real and you're like, oh, this is, this is a lot of hours or this is a commitment. Uh, it takes a lot of strength to get through this. Here are all these challenges I didn't think that I would be able or that I would face, but you do. And it's wonderful. All right. So there's so hang in there. There's, there's a good outcome here, <laughs> but you're going to have to get through some stuff first. So we're going to leave it there for you guys and get on to the next sign. Hello, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on for you. I just immediately heard chaos, but, but I feel an excitement. So it's like, oh, this and oh, that and oh, I didn't care about that anyway. I think God's gone. And oh, wait, what? <laughs> I'm also hearing big twist, big twist. Yeah, I want to feel this out. Because for some of you, it might it might be unpleasant <laughs> to hear something. Um, but whatever it is, it helps you move on. Okay, it does help you move on. Or watch for people who claim they've changed. Make sure you're make sure you have all the facts. Now, you know, I was telling another sign, you know, I have this situation. Or maybe it was another reading. Um, I have this situation where I don't really know what happened in that situation. I don't have all the facts. Uh, now, if I got all the facts and realized, oh, my gosh, it wasn't what I thought, that's different. You know, now now you can bring somebody back in your life. But if you knew that person and you know how they are and they come back and like, baby, I've changed. <laughs> you know what to do, right? Yeah. Comment down below what you would do. All right. So you have King of Michael. Peace. strength that keeps coming up there's going to be some rough I, I think some rough waters definitely and seven of Ariel all right so someone's coming and said I got something to say to you I know whenever I bring up like any of the Michael cards I'm like it's communication it, it's just it's not it's usually Gabriel but uh, right here I'm telling you king of Michael Principled, rational, ambitious, respected. This is this is a person. Okay, this is a person. Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity. A situation that calls for honest and open communication. I'm telling you, it's like, no, it wasn't like that. And you're like, no, I'm pretty sure it was like that. No, because this is, so it could have a little bit, not arguing, but really having to dig up some uncomfortable things. And you're kind of like, I, I just wanted to pretend like I didn't hear that. Um, okay. And it has this feeling it has this feeling where something was withheld from you but for good reason because again once you hear it, you can't unhear it and here you were going down the conspiracy theory road you thought it was something juicy and then it was i mean it's juicy but it's not the kind of juicy one wants right it's kind of like oh that that okay right <laughs> but regardless it brings peace so this is a good thing it could be a little bit much to get through could take a little bit of energy um, but this is Archangel Osriel. So Osriel is all about transformation. He's known as the angel of death. You're Scorpio. You can handle it, right? <laughs> um, he's, he's more about transformation. And he's actually known for helping souls um, get acclimated when they cross over or to help them in that process. Okay. So release the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. Now, this so far does not tell us that whoever's coming in whoever this King of Michael is, it doesn't necessarily say that, okay, we make amends, everything is cool, we're going to move forward in a different way. It could be that. Or it could be, we have an open conversation and I realize I want nothing to do with you. And you're at peace with that. I have that feeling. Very much so. It's like, okay, we've laid this to rest. This is how we will proceed. Some of you will still have that person in your life. Or maybe that person was never really a part of your life they were just like an open question mark and uh whatever it is the truth is bringing peace again it might ruffle your feathers a little bit but you could have somebody getting a little uh like they lay down the truth a little too hard which can be kind of the michael energy it's kind of it's a warrior energy a protector energy and 
just be careful with this. If you have somebody like, let's say it was a, an ex love partner who comes in and says, I did everything for you. And this is, and then you did this to me. If they're doing a lot of blaming and not taking accountability for their part in it, well, obviously that's a red flag. Okay. Be very careful. And part of that transformation for you is seeing that <laughs> and saying, no, thank you. Uh, so we have strength, Archangel Ariel, strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, forgiveness. Now I like that word forgiveness when we're talking about this kind of stuff. Okay. So again, it might be self-forgiveness as well. So if you're beating yourself up over a situation, you're like, I didn't handle that so well. I bet you handled it the best way you could with the information you had in the state of mind that you were in. See, a lot of times we don't give enough room to our personal experiences. Like maybe you were unhealed at the time the situation was going down. Maybe, you know, you had your sights elsewhere. You had your attentions elsewhere. And this has a sense of bitterness about it. Like it's a little bitter. Got a bitter Betty coming at you going, you should have paid attention to me. I don't got to do nothing for you. Okay. <laughs> like, who are you? Like, I don't owe you anything. It's that kind of thing. Okay. Um, maybe for some of you. So this is seven of Ariel. You have invested wisely. So again, I want to add that in to you did the best you could with the information you had. Do not beat yourself up. Okay. And don't get get dwelling on the past because oh I should have done it differently I could have done this that and the other no you did it just right have patience and wait for the harvest review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor you get definitive answers somehow this person was going to be involved in your future so you'll either get clarity about no they're not <laughs> gonna move on or okay so we've laid this to rest it does it does feel like there needs to be a little space, though, because this gets raw. This gets raw, whatever this is. And you might feel like someone just sandblasted you. Not that they're necessarily going to yell. But they could be saying, you know, like, I showed up for you and I did this. This is that kind of thing where it's like somebody may have been helping you behind the scenes. And you misunderstood it or you were told something different about their intentions. And so... You didn't trust it. This is very much the energy of somebody you thought was an enemy, but maybe they were doing good things and they might still end up not liking you very much just because they're like, I did all this for you and you stepped on me. You broke my heart. And then they go storming away and they're like, I'm never going to talk to you. And you're like, well, right, I don't know what that was. I'm so sorry I broke your heart. I didn't mean to. I didn't even know what was going on. Therefore, I didn't know how to participate. Uh, <laughs> and this could hurt you a little bit where it's like, oh man, I misread that situation so bad, <laughs> so bad, but it's okay. It's okay because you have done exactly what you could do and it's saying move on. <laughs> it's saying move on. Now, again, you might be moving on with a transformed dynamic. Okay. Now, again, you can replace this with like a company or, you know, Ah, some of you might hold on some of you might like let's say you're a freelancer or you're looking for work and then you go get a project and you don't know that it's connected to a place that you once worked at it, it has there's a lot of weirdness like oh expect the unexpected yeah it has that kind of feel of where'd you come from you can run into this person like a coffee place or you know what i mean it's like i i just was living my life and then one day this person popped up and there was something we need we need to be at peace about uh some of you this i keep getting the energy of an ex i can't I do keep getting the energy of an ex now if you're panicking you're saying i don't want an ex to come back in my life it doesn't have to be that and remember you always have resources to help you if you need protection um and of course call on archangel michael but call on local resources as well but you get through this and it's something that is strengthening you and you're able to put something to rest because that peace card is just that. It's like, okay, we finally, we cleared the air, it's done. And then you let it transform in the way that it needs to, that is appropriate for you and this other person or for you in this situation, you in a corporate entity, like whatever. Okay. But something good is going to come of it. It's just going to take a little time, a little planning. Okay. So we're going to leave it there for you guys and get on to the next side. Hello, Sagittarius. Let's see what is going on for you. Yep, 
You may want to watch for your sun, moon, rising, and even Venus signs if you're especially looking for like a love type reading and see if there's any messages around that. And people have asked me, is this for Vedic or Western? It doesn't matter. It doesn't, in this context, it does not matter because I am an angel medium. I'm just using that to make the smaller group so I can tune into that frequency and get an angelic message through. You go, you can watch for a sign that you don't really think is very prominent in your chart. Now, astrologers are going to freak out and it's going to blow their minds that I just said that. With what I'm doing, it does not matter, okay? You go to whatever sign uh, you feel drawn to, okay? And remember, these are timeless, So we have Seven of Ariel. This keeps coming up and I was shuffling. <laughs> wow. Oh, I just dropped, dropped the deck. Drop the deck. Okay. Hmm. Decision. Okay. The Magician. <laughs> Holy cow. Something is coming up and you got to make a quick <gasps> decision. Eight of Michael. You can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation. Not seeing things clearly. Someone's coming in to manipulate you. That's what it feels like. Someone, here's what it is. Someone comes in and it's maybe something you've been waiting on, okay? It's something you've invested a lot of time in. Uh, you made a lot of effort. And this is Seven of Ariel and it says, you have invested wisely, have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. So this is a situation you've been waiting to get an answer for, but then it comes, and it might, it might be like this thing where you kind of glamorized a situation or a person. I'm telling you this. I hate to say this, but this has that feeling of like, I got my dream job, but ugh, like it's not my dream job. Okay. Or something along those lines. Or here's my dream partner, but they're not my dream partner. Okay. So this says a decision, Archangel Jophiel. Release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox, unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. So this has this sense of letting go. Uh, and we do have the magician here. So that's typically good, I would say. But the magician here has a little bit of a manipulative energy. So I think this decision is having to look through what's the offer? What's in front of me? What do I already know? What new information was I just given? And uh, can I trust that information? Uh, that's, that's a little tough. I think what it is, is like, I've already been down this road. I can't just pretend like it's not there. Or I can't pretend like this is okay kind of thing. This could also be planting seeds for opportunities um, or a project you've been working on. And then you have to make a decision about who's going to help me, right? So, um, or you've had a wonderful time sort of planting the seeds in your garden and now you're about to be judged for it in some way. Like maybe you entered a contest. This is a metaphor, okay? Maybe you enter a contest um, and that's all well and good, but you're still being judged, right? It, it has that kind of weird feeling. Or like I'm a writer, so it was fun to write the book, but now at some point I got to get a literary agent and I have to make a decision about what direction do I want to take this, right? So it might be that kind of thing. We've got a couple of offers, but it really has this overall feeling of, I don't know about this, or I need more information, or I need more clarification on that. That doesn't add up because you said this, this, and this, okay? So the magician, let's talk about this. This is that manipulative, well, it's, it's transformational, it's creation, it's manifestation, it's all of that, creating the situation that you want. But this feels like someone's weaving a story for you. They're weaving a story. Now, I don't think that they're completely evil or anything like that, but it's just like a magician. Here, look, it's all an illusion. It's all an illusion. You are going to see what I want you to see. Uh, the magician, Archangel Raziel, you can manifest the life you want. You will, excuse me, what you need will magically appear. Successful beginning. So again, this is, um, so this says release yourself from that which holds you back. And then this says successful beginnings. But it has this whole thing of, man, I got to, 
I got to get through something before I can get to that other side. I have to make a decision about a person, place, or thing, <laughs> right? And then there could be a new beginning for you. Maybe you're creating something for yourself. However, remember what I said right from the top. Look at what, look at that magician card. He's spinning a narrative here. He's going to make you see what he wants you to see. Now, this could be, again, I don't get the feeling it's like a totally evil person, but it could be this thing of, um, I want you to see me as strong. So I'm going to hide all of my vulnerabilities. I want you to see me as wealthy. So I'm going to flash all my material items around. I don't want you to know that I'm lonely at night. I don't want you to know that I drink a whiskey every night because, I don't know, it's the only little creature comfort thing I have. Or I don't want you to know that I thought about you so much and wondered where you were and um, wondered if I could be good enough for you. There's a lot of low self-esteem here. But someone is trying, they, they take you for a fool. They take you for somebody who can't see right through their magic tricks. Be careful. Be careful. All right. Then we have eight of Michael. I'll read it again. You can be free. Make a courageous choice uh, to change your situation. Not seeing things clearly. You're not seeing things clearly because this person's manipulating what you see. So you're not given all the truth. You get some truth here to be able to make a decision, but there are a lot of unanswered questions here. And Again, it goes down a road that maybe this other person doesn't want to go. Maybe it's too painful for them or whatever. So you may make the decision to cut and run. You may make the decision, you know, if someone silences their answer, for example. You never deserve to be ghosted. Everyone can have a conversation. I, this whole thing, this toxic societal narrative of, oh, he just got scared and one day he'll come back. No, uh, if he couldn't respect you enough to sit face to face and have some honesty, he's not a person in his integrity. No, oh, he just got scared. Don't say that about my man. He ain't your man. Okay, like if he, was, if he was your man, he'd be right next to you. If this is someone you're waiting to have come back, they, they took the liberty of going off and just living as they wanted to and left you wondering. Does that seem like a nice person? I don't think so. It's not. So that's what this is. You're not seeing that. Or, you know, a, a corporate situation, like a job situation or something like that, you know, like they're, you're waiting for a callback for a job or a new job or wondering if you can make it in a different direction. That's different. That takes a little bit of time to play out. But as far as human beings and how we treat one another, don't settle for less than what you deserve. All right. And in any situation, I guess you could apply that. You know, do not settle for less than what you deserve. So we're going to leave it there for you guys and get on to the next sign. Hi Capricorn. Let's see what is going on for you. Okay, there's that one. Queen of Arrow. We'll get that for another sign. Please make sure that you watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. It doesn't really matter if it's from Vedic or Western. This is not an actual astrological reading. I'm just using it to divvy up the the groups. I'm an angelic medium. Whatever one you are drawn to, whichever feels right for you, that's your message. I know. I was going to argue that. Let's get out of our little zone where we just see things how they apply to us, okay? The art I do here is different, okay? So it doesn't really matter. It's just to get people into smaller groups. All right, we have the moon. I'm hearing emotional healing perspective. Mm -hmm. Revealed. Something revealed. And King of Gabriel. Okay. So let's have a look at this for you. So we've got a king and queen here. And this one is Queen of Ariel. Mature, practical, generous, happy. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, uh, practical, and wise advice. Yeah, and then the King of Gabriel is generous, inspirational, dramatic, driven. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. I feel like this is a pairing. So this could be, there's some stuff here in the middle before you get to, these two are separated by emotions, the moon, introspection, and their perspective. That's what keeps these two apart. Okay. Now, this could be 
like if you're thinking two two interests, two companies, I'm gonna be two companies definitely. Um, but there's something keeping you both apart. I feel like it's more like people. This has like this power couple <laughs> kind of feel about it. But you got a queen and you got, it doesn't have to be an actual like woman and a man. It could be, you know, whatever. Um, you know, however, those feminine and masculine energies are showing up and in what, um, what balance. Okay. So we have the moon. This is, this, I, I want to get these two story. Okay. <laughs> Cause it says Archangel Haniel, uh, the opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, face your fears and grow stronger. So this, again, it's a power play. This comes up a lot. These are two people or maybe two situations that you're trying to figure out, you know, do I want to be in this city or this city? Do I want to do this, that, and the other? So you can see it as that these are two choices or two entities that have something in between them before something can happen. Okay. So this is looking, yeah, they're saying an emotional examination. This is an emotional examination. Are you doing things for the right reason? Okay. Um, if this were two people, are you wanting to be with one another for the right reasons? Or do you just like the power you would bring? This is that feeling because emotions, the moon, how do I really feel about this? Um, I'm the pawn. Yeah, it's that feeling. I'm the pawn. It doesn't really matter what I want. It doesn't really matter what I feel. I just have to give in to the boss or I just have to, you know, listen to the spouse or I just have to, it has this feeling of like, why am I here? Right? Self-evaluation, introspection. Why am I here? And is it for some of you are going after things just merely for the material gain. Now that doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing if maybe you've been in lack for a while and you're like, no, I need a decent paycheck now and I want a roof over my head. That's not too much to ask, <laughs> right? Um, so there could be some focus around that, but it has this feeling of I need that. I need to be with that person or I need to be in that job or I need to have this situation unfold for me. But you don't know what you're asking for. That's the issue. Okay. So we have perspective, Archangel Shamuel. So you're holding yourself back from living your fullest potential by worrying about, um, first, I'm sorry, like image keeps coming up. I'm worried about image. What will people think if I get with that person? What will people think if I open my heart and I'm vulnerable? You know, what will people think if blah, 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 right? So they're saying there's drive here. There's so much drive that even if this is a business partnership, let's say, there's so much drive there that you could end up running over each other. These are two powerful entities that need to tread lightly if they are going to play nice together. So it's perspective, Archangel Shamuel. There's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. We're just saying insight. Dare to be different. Um, yeah, again, you're not seeing this the way that you could. Um, again, I feel like it's going after a situation that you think would be really good, but you're not healed. You're not healed. You would not handle this very well. So let's go back to the original, one of the layers of messaging around this. That could be, let's say, you know, I want that love. I want that love. I want that love. Hey, there's somebody who is kind of, you know, they're kind of like me. Wouldn't that be wonderful? If you force it to come together and both of you are not healed, it's going to fall apart. Okay. Um, but if you both have this sort of out of this connection feels like it's out of fear that you guys have respect for one another. This might be a competing. What? Okay. So it has this feeling. I'm going to keep with the people example here for just a moment. It has this feeling of like two people who are very prominent and they know of each other, but they've always kind of, mm, yeah, whatever. Maybe there's like a little jealousy that that person gets too much attention. It has this feeling of like you guys always thought you would hate each other, but then you start to get to know each other after you heal, right? You heal your stuff and you're gaining a little different perspective. Now it's different. Now it's different. It's like, oh, 
So you might fall in love. That is one story that could play out. This could also be somebody who you were like, it has, it has a jealousy feeling about it. They're getting too much attention. Uh, this could be somebody who's very, very practical and grounded. This is somebody who's very creative and, um, as this says, uh, dramatic, <laughs> very dramatic and driven. Um, and you just thought you didn't see eye to eye. Again, competition. And then you realized, oh, wait, we can help each other. We can help each other. We've been through similar things. We actually do understand one another. And that is the very thing that changes the perspective. Okay. More, it's saying more information needs to be revealed. Like, Oh, that's weird. Oh, wait, hold on. I had these backwards. Okay, so these two cards have, the way these were laying on the, I don't know if this is going to make sense, but the way these were sitting on the table, she's kind of looking over at the queen. She's she's trying to be more introspective. And then this one, this is actually two men that are portrayed on each one of these cards. Now, he's willing to turn his life upside down just to see what, clunks out of it right what comes falling out of the pockets um so he's taking a very different approach to his healing and you know the way he sees things this is a little more logistical okay i feel like this one the moon is very emotional this is logistical uh yeah it's in process whatever it is that you're thinking about um whatever maybe drew you to this it's in process so this could be this could be merging with a company merging with another company you don't know if it's going to work out um or yeah they're saying highly charged highly 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 charged and um the moon has a tie it pulls the tide the moon does not have a tide <laughs> the moon pulls the tide and so that's what's happening here. Like, I feel like there's this push pull, like, no, come, you come over here. No, we're going to swallow you up or no, like, and it's a power dynamic. But if you can make it work, whatever it is, whatever the scenario is, if you're looking more like a business uh, prospect or more of like a relationship type of thing, no one's going to give easily. <laughs> no one's going to give easily. But in that process, there's a lot of realization that happens and a lot of healing that comes from that. And that can aid this in flowing into the future. All right. So we're going to leave it there for you guys and we'll get on to the next sign. Hello, Aquarius. Let's see what is going on for you. Make sure you are watching for your sun, moon, and rising signs, even your Venus sign. doesn't matter if you're taking the Vedic or western approach we're not actually doing an astrological reading here okay that was just to organize the signs and get smaller groups of people so i can tune in for an angelic reading all right so the first card out for you guys is six of michael it's the light at the end of the tunnel breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans relocation or travel so for some of you if you are making a decision about moving this is already talking about that i think you are feeling pretty good about where to go just don't push on it and don't just move somewhere because you think that it's going to be your fresh start and whatever people always do that and then they force the situation and it doesn't have a lovely outcome it doesn't really you know they, they weren't patient <laughs> do you know what i'm saying or they weren't really thinking it through uh this could definitely be moving for a job if you're looking to do that moving for love careful careful that's just what was coming up. And this could also be traveling around for work. Okay, I know an Aquarius who has to go all over the state <laughs> uh, for her work. So we have nine of Gabriel here. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Environmental activism. Now when this comes up, I feel like it is sort of like, okay, you're getting a little burnout. Okay, you're getting, you're pushing too hard. You're, uh, it does say, Stay determined and move forward. But you need, a, you need a beat. You need a minute before you do that. Yeah, this is a big transitional thing. We'll get more information here. Because this is moving away from one situation that may have been, 
you know, you put a lot of time and effort into it uh, and you need a minute before you make a decision about what to do next. Yeah, and leaning on your high priestess, right? The inner high priestess. <laughs> uh, Archangel Haniel, powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information, be at peace. So there's going to be a little bit of like, I don't know where to turn. This is too much. Now, this isn't like the Ten of Wands showing up here. It's it's not that at all. But it's getting there. <laughs> it's getting there. It's one step away from complete burnout. So this is uh, definitely stop stop everything. Go within. Work on your spiritual practice. This will get you evened out. Let you kind of lay some worries down so that you can get that clarity, okay, about how to move forward. Because right now this is a little messy. This is, it feels like a bit much. All right, page of Michael. All right, truthful, per perceptive, analytical, blunt. An exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. Ah. I think you, whatever's stressing you out, you put an end to it. <laughs> So if it's like, if it was like, okay, this, I was giving the example of somebody I know who has to travel all over the state, that might be causing a lot of burnout. Maybe she loves her job, but this is too much to ask of me. She goes with him and she says, you know what? Here's my message to you. <laughs> like, I can't do this. Okay. Or maybe you just don't have that conversation and you're just moving on to the next opportunity. Now, this might be for some of you, not everybody, if you're choosing to have a fresh start, let's say, with whatever you do throughout the day. This might be a bit of a demotion, but it doesn't have to be that. Here's what I mean by that. This could be that kind of thing. Like, I left a corporate job and started my, my own thing here. Uh, certain people at that corporation probably would have thought that I was stepping down right? How could you leave this job and this big name company to go off and start your own thing when really that's what I was being called to do in my inner world, right? Like that was what I was supposed to be doing. So this is a fresh start, not completely starting over. It doesn't necessarily come easily. I, I hate to tell you that. But it's not going to come easily. And I think it is where you get to that point of like, okay, I'm at a brick wall. What do I do? And you tune into your intuition and your intuition might start giving you feedback that you don't want to hear. And that is where people just continue to do what they're doing and they just don't care. And they're just like, that's it. Um, but your intuition is guiding you towards, um, you can be free. You can be free. You don't have to, I have a feeling here of like someone getting used, right? This might be the heaviness of a relationship for you, Right. Where you're like, man, I'm constantly the one that's taking care of everything. My intuition says it's time to just, you know, lay this down. And what does this say again? An exciting new challenge. Yeah. It's time, like the challenge may be, I'm going to enter the dating world again. And that seems scary. Some of you, that might be your story where you're about to enter the dating world again. And it's like, I don't know about this, but I'll be okay. I'll figure it out, <laughs> right? But definitely the power card here is the high priestess. And as long as you are tuned in, grounded, listening to yourself, you don't have to be stuck by your circumstances. And this is very much the energy I'm getting out of this message here is the stuck, like I'm under the control of my situation, uh, I can't get out. I can't move on. Uh, but even here, like the process of moving on, it's like he's in a stormy sea, right? But he's sailing above it. <laughs> he's sailing above that stormy sea with his dog. It looks like Lassie. <laughs> it does. It looks like Lassie in there. But that's what I'm getting here. It's like I'm not feeling like this is... Um, I don't feel like the way things are going for the situation you're thinking about. I don't think it can go on like that. Not just because you may be experiencing burnout because that's just not how the world is anymore. You know, in this situation, they might close some of those offices. And now you don't have as much travel to do, right? You just can't go on the way you have. <laughs> you just can't. It's not, you're not having a well-rounded human experience and you're not, being healthy in it I mean this 
the situation, again, is one step away from I can't get off the couch and now I'm sick. Because you have been pleasing others. You have been trying to show up and show your worth by how hard you work. Okay? And it just can't be done. Now, this did start off with the Six of Michael. Okay? So I think you have an awareness around this. But now it's almost like its own burden to figure out how to get out. Fear not. All of the answers are coming. They're actually there for you. You're already getting them. Uh, You'll have your one after the other aha moments. (laughs) And this will get you to your fresh start. Okay, so we're going to leave it there for you guys and get on to the next sign. Hello, Pisces. Let's see what is going on for you. Oh, hi. Okay. (laughs) Page of Gabriel. Okay, we'll look at that. Leap of faith. Solutions. Oh, that's good. That's handy. Oh, and this one will want to come out. And decision. This one keeps coming out as well. So let's just start from the top here. Page of Gabriel. Energetic, brave, optimistic, playful. I do feel like this is your energy right now. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure. So that is lovely. And then Following right after that, we have Leap of Faith, Archangel Metatron. Believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy. So there you go. This is how we're starting off for you. There is something that is right before you, something that you could be working towards. If you say you don't know what that is, just meditate upon it and allow that inspiration to come to you because there is great opportunity for new beginnings here. Okay, a fresh start so this is actually living more simply even so if some of you are actually moving you may choose to not take everything with you you might donate it you might say i don't need this i want to be a minimalist now (laughs) right or what have you but this is definitely saying i'm ready and i'm charged up for a new way a new beginning uh i feel very heavily some of you are like the work the work the work what do i do for the work um For some of you, you're making your own thing, okay? So you are going off and starting your own business. And it's going to come with, uh, it's not going to be an immediate success. Most businesses that you start are not. Will you be able to get along? Yeah, I think you have a plan. I think some of you who are asking that, you know how to make it work, okay? And that, that your needs are all covered in that way. Yeah, they're saying don't squash the creativity, though. (laughs) Don't do that. Um, And that, I think, is a message for some people. And just in general in life, if you're trying to be a copy of somebody else, that's just not going to work. It's not going to work. So we have solutions. Archangel Zadkiel. So Zadkiel is all Z-A-D-K-I-E-L. He's all about transmutation. So this is taking fear and turning it into, you know, fuel. (laughs) Basically, to get moving on something that you want to do. And it says success that comes from an objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy. Yeah, again, it's going to take a minute before things get off the ground. And this could also be because Gabriel oversees the sacral chakra, the emotions, um, you know, creativity, conception, communication, you know. Michael is associated with telling the truth, <laughs> right, so that it, he can have an association with uh, that as well. But uh, Gabriel's all about, it's kind of like making it work with somebody or having like, um, it's the emotions. It's the emotional connection with something or someone, okay? But this is then saying that you got to get practical about it and how you're going to bring this into the 3D. You do not bring in whatever your dreams are, whatever it is that you're working towards. You don't bring them in by pushing on them and trying to contrive them in a way that you've always imagined. Because maybe that's an outdated way of thinking, all right? Because the world is changing or maybe that's just not the right thing for you. But ultimately, some version of what you've always wanted can come to fruition, absolutely. So this could be solutions around money this is solutions around 
you know, I'm wondering why I'm single all the time. And then you get this sense of, well, I'm afraid. What am I afraid of? And now you start going, now you're getting the solution, hopefully with, you know, proper support about what holds you up. So there is a lot here about, okay, I, I, I have a sense of direction. I know where I want to head. I want to have this fresh start, but it's not going to come without a few things popping up in your face that you need to contend with. Okay. And then we have decision. Archangel Jophiel, release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox, unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. So this is something that, you know, it feels like I'm going to dive in, but I'm going to jump back. I'm going to dive in, but I can't. I want to do this, but no. That's what this card, I think, is telling you. It's saying, no, you'll, you'll understand the way forward. You will understand the steps that you need to take to have this new beginning. But they, they say, do not replicate do not replicate. So I don't know if you guys are trying to, oh geez, if it comes to people, you're trying to get somebody else's man or something. <laughs> That's one example. Don't do it. Um, but another example is, okay, this company did X, Y, and Z. I bet I could do that and do it better. For some reason for you guys, the cluster of people that would be watching this, it's not well aspected. It doesn't have a good feeling around it. it could, some of you could maybe do it, but that doesn't mean copying. That means I'm going to come up with my own subscription box. You're not really copying, um, but because there's so many out there, but you have your own version of it, but the market is saturated with, you know, those kinds of things. And I immediately thought of food box deliveries. And you're probably thinking, well, darn it, there's no really good vegan food box. And I could do that so much better. Some of you may be able to pull it off, but I, I just, I get the sense here that you want the fresh beginning more than you want the long term. Um, like the passion's going to burn out for some of you. So in order to keep this afloat, that's where that, you know, it's supposed to be temperance, I believe. Yeah. The solutions card. That's where you have to just take your time, be patient, make sure you're laying the groundwork. Uh, I'll give you another example here. I knew somebody who... They were going after a dream. They liked what they did, but more they were going after a dream because they wanted to be famous. I love using this example because it just illustrates so much like where people can be. Um, I just realized I put my lamp back over there and it's not over here. So if it's dark over here, sorry, <laughs> I didn't bring my lamp back over. Um, you know, the, instead of, you know, going into it for the passion of, uh, of the work, he just wanted to be seen. He wanted that validation from other people. He wanted that charge of, you know, people just admiring him or, or whatever. And guess what? It failed. It absolutely failed. And he had no idea why, you know, like why wasn't it enough? Because you got burned out on it. Because you got to love what you're doing, right? And even when you love what you're doing, you can still get burned out. But um, you can't go at it with the wrong intention. Is fame the wrong intention? It's a weak intention. It's not going to bring pure joy. As a matter of fact, it'll probably bring a lot of hassle. So whatever it is, it's not like you're all out there trying to be famous. But <laughs> it's just an example here of, yes, things are breaking open for you. Yes, there is a turn that is coming. But if you don't, if you're not careful, you can end up tripping over your own feet and falling on your face. Make sure you're doing the research for whatever it is that you want to do. Or if you're getting to know somebody, make sure you're taking your time with getting to know them. And do not ignore the red flags, okay? Somebody who doesn't work and wants you to support them all the time, that's not a great sign. Um, who doesn't respect you and who blames you for everything. You know, be, be watching out for that. And if you are starting your own business or you're starting a new job, don't go asking for a raise shortly after you get there. And <laughs> certainly don't go asking for a promotion shortly after you get there. Or expecting, you know, high profits when you just started your own business. There's some measure of uh, having to <laughs> stay very steady and focused and manage your expectations. I think that's what we're getting at there. All right. So we're going to leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.